Um, so, I mean, this was a story that I was completely unaware of. I, I'm assuming you were just as unaware of it as perhaps a lot, a lot of the rest of us, certainly most of us that were watching it was. What was your first reaction to the story and subsequently what was your reaction to, to the to Stephen script as well? I knew that there was a famously horrible singer. Um, people used to pass around cassettes of her to, just as a sort of after dinner thing to laugh at. But I never knew the details until the script came up. And um, yeah, and then I, you know, I loved it because it's, it's funny and sort of tragic simultaneously. And I like the fact that the, the script and I hope the film um, sort of messes around with genres and expectations. You're slightly disorientated, not knowing are you laughing at these people or are you laughing with them? Is this a tragedy? Is this a comedy? And I think that's quite Stephen Frears-ish and uh, I enjoyed that mischief. I certainly got that impression watching it this morning. It was uh, I literally played those two words in my mind for about an hour or so afterwards. But the, the, the opening in particular was sort of very perplexing. Do you think, uh, what is it about Florence though that you think the audiences will identify with? And, and what specifically about, about her journey do you think that, that, that endears her towards them? Uh, sorry, say that again. My mind had drifted. Sorry, what is it about Florence that you think people will identify with? The, the character? Yes. Oh, well, I think that um, everyone likes a glorious failure. I mean, you've only got to look at American Idol or the X Factor or these programs. You know, people really enjoy the people who are crap almost more than the ones who are brilliant. And certainly their life stories are kind of fascinating. How, do you, how could you be that bad and yet think you're capable of winning a prize? And so I think there is a... Uh, a definite natural voyeuristic uh, interest in these people. Because there were, there were several laugh out loud moments initially, but, but by the time they, the end comes, obviously everybody's disappointed that, that the fact that she's dying and uh, in turn, it completely endeared towards her, even as yeah. far as, 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 as the audience is. Uh, how, how easy was it to see that from your character's point of view, to, look, to, be, to be able to look beyond the, the facade of her not being able to sing? Uh, no, that was <laughs> the and the love that transcends that. I mean, yeah. Um, well, my interpretation of the relationship was that if you have spent thirty years together, and um, one of you has a desperate passion to do something and is also not very well, I don't want to give away too much about the film for people who haven't seen it, uh, you, of course you support them and protect them fiercely uh, in their endeavor. I don't think it would even occur to you to say, well, do you mind if I'm honest, love, you're shit. <laughs> uh, can I just ask what, what it was like working with Meryl? She obviously brings uh, you know, her, own, uh, her, her own magic to the role, but also, as you said, Stephen as well. This, this does work particularly well, I think. It, it's a sort of uh, a very good example of how he can make these films perhaps better than anybody else. What was the question? What, well, what was it like working with, with Meryl and Stephen? Was it make, did it make it easier to, to bring this thing to life or? Uh, well, yeah, obviously, because you know, they're both you know, top talents. And um, Stephen was not what I expected because um, you know, he's such a revered, award-winning director. And if you go to France, the French virtually kneel at his feet. Ah, oh, Stephen Freyers is a very great maître en scène. And so you'd kind of expect that he's going to be very intense and give a lot of direction to actors, for instance. Not at all, quite the reverse. Uh, from my first meeting with him, when I had 20 intelligent questions about the script, his answer to almost every single one was, I have no idea, don't ask me. I don't know, I don't know. And that's really his method. He, 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 I think he's a great picker of projects, got good taste. And he's very good at getting the right personnel in, in the crew and the cast, and then uh, he's very trusting. Yours is a, a sort of delightfully nuanced character, in my opinion. Uh, how hard is it to find those these days in, 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 in an, uh, an industry that's increasingly dominated by sequels and so on? And how difficult is it for you to sort of to continue to stay away from, from the romantic comedies? Oh, well, people, you know, if you do acting, you kind of hope that um, 
the character that you're being offered to play will have dimensions and um, but you know cinema is an interesting thing because it began really in a fairground and was as like a, an amusement like the strong man or the, the Siamese twins it was a something to pay a, a couple of pence or cents and go and see and it, it, I think there's still a lot of that in cinema in that we like it quite simple. At least the big commercial films are relatively simple. This guy's a baddie and this guy's a goodie and he's going to get the baddie. And uh, if you start to get as complex and nuanced as real human beings are, or even as human beings are in a novel, quite often the cinema audience goes, yeah, bah, I don't get that, you know, that's, that's too complex. Because in the end, they want a night out. They've worked hard or whatever it is and they're paying good money to be entertained and taken to a, um, a place that's uh, different and uh, simpler than real life. So it's a, it's a difficult thing if you, if you get a, a nuanced character. It's sort of great, but you, the trick is to try and keep it entertaining at the same time. So what are you looking for from your parts now when, when you get these scripts? I mean, you mentioned just in the news conference a moment ago that uh, you know, perhaps uh, biting off more than you can chew as far as flesh-eating characters are concerned. I thought I did, yeah. yeah. So, so I mean, as, as you, as you, when, you, when you get these scripts, what, what exactly is it you're looking for from your characters? What is it you hope to, to do with your, with your career going forward? As far as, as, far as actor... Well, no, listen, I've never had a plan for my career. I just... Um, uh, you know, scripts turn up and sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't, and there's never been an overarching plan. I just, um, it's quite difficult to make me sign up to do something, partly because of fear. I'm always terrified I'm going to screw it up, or be humiliated. But once I've said yes, um, then I am fanatical to try and get it as good as it can be. Great. All right. Well, that's, that's everything from me. All right.